Good morning, my dear. Today is Monday, January 24th. I am Reverend Gretchen Pena sitting in for Reverend Carla, and today's word is joy. Let's begin with prayer. Breathing in deeply, we allow the breath to be the transformation from the ordinary to the sacred. We are standing on sacred ground. And from this stance, from this position, we pray, blessed spirit, look at our troubled world. There are so many things that need attention, that need correction. And we are willing to do our part. We ask that you guide us, that you give us what is ours to do so that we can right the wrongs, so that we can make this a better, more just place for everyone to live and thrive. We bless our world leaders. May they be filled with compassion and wisdom and common sense and we bless our planet. It is so magnificent and wonderful. Help us to stop harming it. We are ready, we are willing, and we say thank you, thank you, God, amen. Well, my dear, as I said, today's word is joy, only it isn't really, today's word is happy, but happy, is an emotion and emotions come to be and pass away. Happy is one end of the spectrum, sad is the other. And we can switch from one to another in a heartbeat, depending on the circumstances. But joy, on the other hand, is a divine idea and it does not come to be or pass away, it simply abides. Joy is like, or divine ideas are like chemical elements. They cannot be reduced to uh, smaller parts. They are what they are in perpetuity. So we're going to, to look at joy. How do we experience joy? We probably experienced it more as little children when we were more open to, to spirit, when we had not put up all our boundaries and fences and uh, worries that someone might hurt us before we knew that such things were possible. We, we were joy-filled. And then life happened and we became a little bit more wary, a little bit more suspicious. So we allow ourselves little bits of happiness. Um, and I cannot really tell you how to experience joy other than becoming closer and closer and closer to God. The closer we get to God, the deeper we maintain that connection the deeper our experience of joy until we go from just little um, fits and starts of happiness followed by fits and starts of sadness, which in some ways are choices. Um, was it Abraham Lincoln? That I'm, I'm not sure, but I think it was Abraham Lincoln that said people are about as happy as they um, choose to be, or words to that effect. And that is true. People do make a choice. It may be subliminal, but often it's a choice to because we choose what we're going to focus on. And if we focus on doom and gloom, guess what? We're not going to be very happy or certainly not very joyful. So, but if we focus on spirit, this is the opportunity to open to joy. So as we go into our time of meditation, don't be 
fussing and fretting about how to experience joy or even happiness. Simply focus on spirit and the attributes of spirit that all bring joy because spirit is divine, unending love and wisdom and power and all of these things. So as we focus on the different aspects of spirit, we are primed to experience joy. So let's take a moment right now to go, to go within, breathing deeply. We put ourselves in a physical position to be receptive with our feet on the floor, grounding ourselves, letting the energy of the earth fill our body, even if we're on the 10th floor of some place. It is symbolic. And being grounded and uncrossing any limbs or fingers or eyes, we allow ourselves to be focused and receptive and whatever aspects of spirit are needed now in our life, we welcome them because they are always present, always available. And so we say, precious spirit, come into my life. I welcome you. I know you're already there, but I am acknowledging it now and I am welcoming you. I am daring to ask you to, that your will be done in me. Maybe at some point I was afraid that your will might not be my will. And I really like my will, but I recognize that, that your will is infinitely superior to mine and infinitely better. That whatever you do in and through me is going to be an abundant blessing and I welcome this. So I take a moment now to focus on these things as I go more deeply within into the silence. I am now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom, 
now erase all mortal limitation and from thy pure substance of love bring my world into manifestation according to thy perfect laws. I am willing. Thank you, God. Amen. And thank you, my dear, for joining me. Have a joy-filled day.